All right, guys, welcome back. Sorry it's windy today, but work continues on the old Massey Ferguson Model 25 hay rake. And today I'm going to be putting the drive shaft on. So I got it as close as I could. Uh, just kind of pushed it over. But what I want to do is take a measurement from here to here to get our minimum. 28 inches as it sits. Now this is offset a little bit. I don't know if you can tell really this camera so films so close in even zoomed all the way out so it is offset so I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it 26 inches and that is compressed or collapsed just to give the uh, sure enough plenty of room so this is what we're going to use right here and I think it is collapsed it's 32 inches so I've got to cut off uh, six inches yep. got to cut out six inches of it so I'm gonna set you up on the tripod and we'll get to work on this thing all right so this is the rake end this is the track end no the track end overlaps this. Now I can take out, I'm going to have to take off six inches off this guard right here regardless. I may have to take off six inches of this guard. I'll try to separate it. Yep, I will have to. I'm going to have to take off six inches of this shaft. It would be easier if I could get this guard out without tearing it off pieces. Now where these clipped in at, hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. I think that's going to be the easiest way to release that clip. I'm going to set this right here. Right. Kind of right there. This one's out. See the way they clipped in these little pieces here. Takes that off. And this is just a little collar that you can move. Now get this set up and take off some material. Thanks. Got a good bit of grease on it. Think about it, we need six inches total. The other piece slides on. That means I'm going to nearly need to cut six inches off this and six inches off that. Now I got to deburr this thing. I'm gonna just use my grinder. Thank <laughs> you. 
take a knife for this one. have a little pilot on the end of it. I'm gonna use that pilot to get me a to get me a uh, an indention started in this bush. And I don't really want to drill it with this bit. But this hole will help keep us everything steady. So that bolt is a 3 8 bolt. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger than this hole, or smaller than this hole. So, since I've got me a pilot started, and I know it's centered in that hole, I'm going to go ahead with my 3 8 bit, and hopefully hook right into that pilot. Alright, one hole done. Thank you. 
may not be long enough to do this. centered in that hole. I think that'll work. can turn inside there. Well, there's a burr on it to keep it from, keep it from bagging out. I might have to file that down. That's what I want. So let's go see if it'll stick on the uh, hay rake. Now these holes are a bit watered out. Now having that shield on there does make it a little bit harder to grease, but oh well, it is safer. I just have to figure out where I'm going to tie off the chain, uh, probably up here somewhere. But uh, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that little video and uh, hope put this rake to work tomorrow. I still got to do some work on my wheels. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. And I've got these wheels in here for it. it tires. Wheels. Somewhere. There they are. Right here. But, of course, they don't have bushings in those. And I've got to get the right bushings for them to fit. And I'm thinking that they're too narrow. Because these wheels, the hubs, come out way past the rim width. In other words, either I'm going to have to put a bunch of spacers, washers, or make some spacers for it. But anyway, that's on down the road. Right now I'm getting by with these tires. They're, uh, they hold air for most of the time. 
this one leaks down but the, the wheels rotting on it so I just pump it up before I use it and uh, it's usually good to go so guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more